let's say you have a hard drive or an SSD, an NVMe drive, a storage drive of any kind, a flash drive, and you either bought it from somebody, used, or you're getting ready to sell it and you want to make sure everything's off of it, or it's an older drive and you want to completely reset it to like new, the way it came out of the box. Now, the way these arrive in the box, any sort of storage, flash, well, flash drives can often be pre-formatted, but hard drives, solid state drives, NVMe drives, they have no partition and no format because they don't know if you're going to put Linux on it, put it in a Mac, put it in a Windows computer, or if you want FAT32 or NTFS, they don't know. And when you plug a brand new drive in, whether it's through the SATA interface or through a USB dock or something, Windows will pop up in the case of Windows and say, hey, you plugged in a drive that has no format or partition, would you like to do that now? But if the drive has already been partitioned and formatted, and what you want to do is just completely wipe everything on it, just there's nothing on this drive you want, you want to start over as though it were new, I'm going to show you how to do that. But be careful, there's no easy recovery if you screw this up. So make sure you're using the double check, verify, there's nothing on this drive I want. I'm going to completely nuke it. What I've got here is a little $10 USB to SATA adapter. What's great about these is they don't require an enclosure, so there's no screws or enclosure. Uh, to, you know, enclosures trap heat. This is already enclosed. It's already in an enclosure. Otherwise, it'd just be a raw circuit board. So we don't need to put an enclosure on this. And while this is meant to be temporary, you could leave it this way indefinitely if you just wanted a, an outboard drive to use with bigger capacity and much faster than the equivalent flash drive. Right? So it's just a SATA 3 Samsung 840 Evo. And then I've got a mini form here. This is, I think, the 870 Slim. I thought I'd bring it out. It's been a while. And, uh, wow, I got a big scrape across the top of that. I wonder what I did there. It's weird. You can only see it at a certain angle. Ah, anyway. Just find any USB port, and we're going to plug this in. So let's just plug that in, right? Super easy. Anybody can do this. They have all different kinds of these little USB adapt SATA to USB. If it's NVMe, they also sell NVMe docks, or this could be plugged in the computer. The NVMe can be in the computer. It just can't be the drive you're booting from. You can't do what I'm about to show you. The drive can't wipe itself while it's, in, while it's running your operating system. You can't change a flat tire on a car while the car is still moving. You have to stop the car first. So for any drive other than your C drive, this is the process to reset it. Besides, you wouldn't want to reset your C drive. Like if you had a C drive you wanted to reset, you want to take that drive out and do this on another computer. That's the best way, in my opinion. Yes, you can make bootable USB drives, but that's way too complicated for the average person. Just take the drive out, plug it into USB on another computer, and you can wipe it out this way. Or you can download a tool like DBAN and use that to wipe the drive. But it's so much easier to always do it the same way, regardless, to have a process and to not make exceptions. Well, if it's this, we do it this way. If it's that, we do it that way. You're just confusing yourself and making your life way more difficult than it needs to be. Always do it the same, regardless, and you'll always get the same result predictably and accurately every single time. The minute you start making exceptions, well, this is an NVMe, I'll do it differently. This is a C drive, I'll do it differently. No, always do it the same. All right, so I've got this plugged in. Let's run over to this desktop over here. And let me put that up on the screen right here. Okay, nothing happened. It didn't acknowledge anything. So let me go see if this drive has anything on it. There's no drive detected. All I have is a C drive. There is no D drive here. So what I can do is just type in disk management down here, D-I-S-K-M-A-N. And here it came up with a suggestion of create and format hard disk partitions. I'm going to select that. Now it should see this drive, and it does. And this is exactly the way a brand new drive out of the box will work. If we were to do this exact same thing with a brand new drive, where we rip the plastic off the, the, the box it came, comes in, take it out of the box, plug it in with a USB adapter, you're going to see this. It says, I don't know what this is. It's got no partition or format. Do you want to partition and format it? 
Uh, it only asks you this when you go into the uh, disk management area, which we just did. It didn't come up at the desktop all by itself. But as soon as we went into disk management, it found it. And all you have to do is click OK. And then we right click down here, new simple volume, because this is our new drive down here. Next, 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 finish. And now we're going to have the D drive, the next available letter. Since we had C, the next available letter is D. If you have C, D, E, F, and G, then this drive letter will become H, right? So it's not the same for everybody. And then finally, we have what appears to be a D drive. Now we can take things and put them on the D drive now. You see that? We have D. That's the drive I plugged in with the SATA now that it's been formatted and partitioned. If we take a bunch of this stuff, let's take this and this and this and this and this and this, right click and copy it. We'll make a new folder. Right now we won't. We'll just put it right on the C drive here. Or sorry, right on the D drive. So I've, I've not moved it, I've copied it. So now this is a used drive. Okay, let's just say I went on Facebook or a friend of mine or a family member said, hey, do you want this old drive? And I said, yes, I would. And maybe they have numerous partitions on it. Maybe they got data on it. Maybe Windows doesn't even recognize it. All I want to do is make this like new again. I want it to be back the way factory resetting is. And the way you factory reset with Windows 10 or 11 is you come down here to the search and you type CMD, which is short for the command prompt. And over here you see it says run as administrator. Click that and then click yes. And then you're going to type in disk part as one word. This is the old disk partitioning tool. Type list disk and we should see any drives that are attached to the computer with the C drive always being disk zero. And what I want to do is I want to select so, <laughs> a Freudian typo. Select disk one. And now it says disk one is the selected disk. And I type the word clean. As soon as I type this, it is going to completely obliviate this drive with a complete memory wipe. Sort of like what they do to the droids in Star Wars. Ready? Memory wipe? Done. It's that fast. I type exit, type exit again, and I don't have a D drive anymore. It's gone. Completely gone. It is back to like it was when it was brand new out of the box. So to reset the drive, I would type in disk management. And again, I only got as far as disk MA when the suggestion for create and format hard disk partitions came up. And we're going to go through that same thing. It says, oh, this is a brand new drive. As far as it's concerned, it doesn't know if this is new or used. All it knows is it has no partition and no formatting. So if this had five or six partitions on it before and you're not sure how to get rid of them, this is a great simple way without getting into partitioning software and teaching you how to use it or paying for a third party utility. Um, this is super easy, right? Because there's nothing we want on the drive anyway. So we just click OK. And then it shows the drive down here as, you know, it's a 500 gig drive. It's all unallocated and there's still no partitions on this drive. We just want one big one. So I right click and say new simple volume. Next, 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 finish. That's it. We have completely reset the drive. And as soon as it's done formatting here, we have essentially a big flash drive that we can use. Or we can now uh, plug this in internally if we want to, if it wasn't already internal. You could do this if it were internal. Just make sure you select the right drive, especially if you have multiple drives. If you're one of those people that has uh, drive e, uh, D, E, F, G, you shouldn't take this lightly because it can be very difficult to tell when you're on the proper drive letter. That'll wrap it up for me for today. I will see you all again very, very soon. Until next time, bye for now.